Hey everyone, I've got an amazing tool for you today. It slices, it dices, it makes tons of Julian fries. Okay, maybe it doesn't make French fries, but it does sharpen, enhance, and upscale your images with very little effort at all. As always, thank you so much for sharing and liking and subscribing and passing this along to other people so they can learn. And otherwise, let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, this is not comfy. Uh, this is a new tool called AIRD Image Enhancer. And they have a free trial, and I'll include a link in the description. Uh, there's also a subscription you can get. Uh, but the cool thing is it's actually a local uh, piece of software that you install. Basically, I have a normal install uh, file that you just install to your folder, and uh, you're good to go. So this is completely local, not an online service uh, that you have to uh, worry about bandwidth issues or those kinds of things. Uh, so it's using your local hardware. And so uh, as you can see here, there's kind of a central drag and drop area where you're throwing your images. This could be your photo images from your camera or any renders. Um, I did a few render tests from SDXL and also Flux, a few different resolutions as well to you know, see how well it does. And I, I was very impressed. It's a very easy tool to use. Uh, generally speaking. So I definitely recommend this overall um, just for a simple, quick uh, polisher at the end of your uh, typical workflows. You can see on the right-hand side, it has your hardware and uh, different models you can choose. And the models download automatically. So you don't once you basically install this thing, it kind of just works on its own. You select things and hit run and you're good to go. And so you can see um, just quickly, there's a few different models you can choose based on the situation. You know, if you're working with more photorealistic uh, photos, you can uh, use the real photo model. They've got a smooth diff, which kind of is really great for kind of anime. Uh, and then the more detail can kind of really is a general all in, uh, inclusive model. You can actually see kind of here, if you have a little question mark, some details around those models. You could also do a double pass on it. I found honestly a single pass will be very rich for your needs, but you can obviously do that a second time round. And it's very simple, right? You can basically just drag and drop stuff in and then choose the model. And, and then I love the kind of like real-time uh, preview mode, which we'll, we'll walk through. Okay, so we're going to actually do a couple of quick samples here. I'm going to bring in a couple of different samples. And by the way, you can do it not only for single images, but you can also do for batch as well, uh, which is cool. Because uh, again, it's very simple to kind of jump in and run, especially if you have your... Uh, the final settings that you're looking for, uh, you can just basically run and go uh, across a whole folder of, of different things. And so, you know, this first image, I'm going to just drag it in here. It's going to do a little bit of model loading. And then you have basically two different views here. So I'm going to zoom out here. You could see you have this kind of lover's leap, you know, a couple holding hands. And this was a flux vertical orientation. And, you know, almost like the image compare, right, you can do kind of a back and forth uh, slider to see what it's looking before and after. And you also have the ability to kind of look at it side by side. You see up here, you can click on that and you can see it side by side. So it's kind of cool because you can kind of zoom into different details to see how that sharpening, polishing, etc. works out. Um, and it's really obviously really detailed. Now, one thing I did notice, especially as you get higher in the upscale area, is that it can almost over smooth a little bit. Again, depends on the model you choose, but some of the highlights will go a little too much. But again, this is zoomed way, way in. And it's also this uh, example is uh, upscaled at eight times, which is quite a bit. So, you know, you'll see, obviously most of the time you're gonna be hanging out in the uh, kind of uh, overall view for your images. Um, but I love the, the uh, text uh, sharpening. You can see it's very, very clear here. Um, which I really liked. And again, you can just choose different models to find the right situation that you're looking for. So in this case, I did, you know, this is more of a, a photo. So in this case, for photos, I chose the photo model. You can choose which upscale level you can do. Now, again, different AI models you choose will have different levels. So for the for the photo model, I believe you can only go up to two times. You know, you just have to find the right situation that you're looking for. Once you find and you, you're kind of you know, good with whatever the uh, end result looks like. You basically just hit run and it will export it to the folder for you. And again, this is not just for a single file. 
if I wanted to, I could bring in multiple files here, drag them in. Once you lock in your uh, image specs that you want to go with, you can see it's allowing you to real time view, right? This is more of a, obviously a more of an illustration type of image. For this case, I would probably choose a different model. Probably the real GAN would probably be a better fit. Uh, and I might even want to go up to, let's say four times to be a little clearer. Right, and you can see it obviously did a lot of great detail around, you know, these dog, uh, <laughs> these walking dog uh, situations. Um, but I've really been, again, very, very impressed with the overall results. Just to show you a few different examples, right? We have the kind of end result. We have the end result of the lover's leap picture. You have lots of crisp details and really clean lines, good color as well. Here I have text, I have the horse, and more of kind of like a, a mix of photo and uh, some almost car cartoony illustration. We have our dog walking picture. I have a photorealistic picture with an ice cream cone. You can see if I zoom way in, right? A lot of great detail. Again, just a little careful on what level of detail you're going to upscale because you don't want to halo uh, too much if it gets too detailed in there. But, you know, even a prince and princess uh, situation. So, again, you can see this is an SDXL picture, not even a flux picture. Really details out the butterfly's wings and the, the fluffiness of the cotton plants that it's on. So, I hope this was helpful. It's a very quick video, but, again, this is a pretty useful tool to get you to your sharpening needs and your cleaning and refining needs as a final polisher. And otherwise, we'll talk to you soon.